Holy cow, Spider-Man roams now. What's up, Spidey? Not too much. Yeah, I just on patrol. This is unbelievable. Welcome back to your Daily Dose and welcome to Disneyland. That is literally inside Disneyland or view from the Howard Johnson Anaheim. Unbelievable. What a great way to kick or day off here on the seventh floor of view inside the park. Today we're gonna to be going on over to California Adventure. Tomorrow we're gonna to be adventuring on into Disneyland for the 100th anniversary celebration. But um, shout out to the Howard Johnson for hooking this up. I'm gonna leave the link down below. 15% off your guys' entire stay here to um, book a stay here at the Howard Johnson. The rooms are beautiful. It's amazing. You can request, I think, a seventh floor view. They kind of spoiled us here, but holy camoli. I'm so ready. I hope you guys are too. Oh, the monorail. Look, 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 look. I've never been on the Disneyland monorail, let alone seen it from this. There it goes by the Matterhorn. Here's kind of a our view. Simply amazing. It's the freeway, if you're wondering what that noise is. All these rooms are refurbished. Shout out to the Howard Johnson. I will say though, we've got natural skylights. Now we're up pretty early. If you do sleep in, it might get a little bit bright here. Um, just an FYI with that, but here's a quick look at our room. They're all refurbished now here. I've, this is my first time staying in the tower. Tons of plugs. It's it's one of my favorite places to stay here at Disneyland, obviously because they hook it up to its prime location. You know, what more do you need? Got to look for deals when you come to Disneyland. Here's one of them. Here is one of them for you. A little bit messy now. We kind of, you know, took over. It's a little bit of a breezy day heading on over to California Adventure. Super pumped to kind of lock ourselves in to Avengers Campus here this morning, but it's breezy. A little bit worried about the 100th tomorrow because if it's windy, they don't do fireworks here at Disneyland. Oh my goodness, the 100th monorail just walked by, or <laughs> not walked by, but you, yeah, you guys know, it drove by. Just like that, everybody, welcome back to Disneyland. Now the 100 celebration doesn't kick off until tomorrow, but here's our first sign of it other than the monorail. We've got banners of lands, attractions, movies. Again, it's not just celebrating the parks, it's selling the 100th years, 100 years of Disney as a company as a whole. It's a big deal. I think it's a little bit bigger than the 50th anniversary. Just by a little bit. Guys, just in time for the 100th celebration. I don't think I've ever caught Disney updating the concrete live ever they're repainting it dude this is a milestone i am wow i'm happy to be here our concrete updates have come so far there's the 100th monorail again beautiful shimmering and glimmering slanted and just like that we are in i love being here at disneyland it's just that extra extra spark i say it every time Closer look up at the 100 years of wonder. I mean, today, guys, is when the celebration kicks off. So if you guys don't follow my Instagram, I'll be posting live looks. Our first video up of the 100th will be tomorrow. Obviously, the colors for the 100th anniversary is like purple, silver, black. Kind of reminds me of an era when I grew up, uh, Justin Bieber era. You know, all the purple. Did, did, did Disney just copy Justin Bieber? I don't know. Oh, wowzers. There's a huge, huge sign at Disney 100 Years of Wonder, baby. Look at all of the, the signs below as well. See that? 100, 100. In we go. Not indigo. In we go. Welcome to California Adventure, everybody. I'm pretty sure this is going to be everywhere we go. But, uh... Here's more of the 100th banners. It's gonna be all down 
everywhere, basically. Buena Vista Street, yeah, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Holy cow, that lady almost got ran over. I guess watch out for the electric trolley. Yo, <laughs> he was so close. I'm surprised I didn't film that. Oh, the monorail just went by too. I don't think I've ever walked in with the trolley here. Now today's a little bit different of a day. I can tell the crowds aren't really here, but in Disneyland, a lot of people don't really come here in, in the, the morning, which kind of makes sense more in the afternoons. Disneyland California Adventure gets a little bit more crowded. And speaking of that, Disney Plus, or sorry, Genie Plus, really isn't that bad right now. Meaning you can get a, a, a Lightning Lane for like right now. The unfortunate thing is that we didn't have tickets ahead of time, so we couldn't buy Genie Plus ahead of time. But like I said, you can get Genie Plus for right now. Oh, <gasps> check out this wonderful piece of art. Now there's been lots of controversies with these online. I gotta ask you guys, does this look 3D printed to you? Does it look 3D printed? I mean, honestly, it probably is. It's a way to save money, but I think like most Disney fans are overcritical, especially with stuff with the hundredth, um, with as important as that celebration is. I don't know. Leave your guys' comments down below. Now, since I'm not the most, most expert here on Disneyland and California Adventure, here's kind of a look at the overall look of our day as far as Genie Plus goes. Like I said, we can get Mission Breakout right now at 8.50 and go there. It's probably a walk-on since it's 25 minutes. Arguably everything is besides, I think, Radiator Springs. So is it worth it to get Genie Plus? It might be, but look at that. Radiator Springs, it's $15 extra for an individual landing lane. And I think Genie today was $20, which is relatively cheap, that's $25, relatively cheap, inexpensive for uh, Disneyland, since I think it can go up all the way up to, do I want to say $40, if that's right? So we're kind of just sitting here now, thinking about what we're going to do. Oh my goodness, Disneyland always on top of their game with characters, Goofy out and meeting. But um, yeah, we actually did elect to buy Genie Plus because we're gonna be here all day and we're kind of expecting more crowds to come tonight. Not really necessary right now here in the morning. And um, it was $50. <laughs> $50 all the rides basically except Radiator Springs Racers. Oh my gosh, we're also here for the Lunar New Year celebration. Now we are gonna be going to Avengers Campus here shortly. But let's go check up the construction updates with the new land that they're featuring very, very soon. Well, actually not very, very soon because the construction really hasn't begun begun. But there are some things going on here with Pacific Wharf. I believe last time we were here, this is, oh gosh. This is when they announced these updates that Pacific Wharf is going to be turning into San Fran's Tokyo. San Fran, San Fran, Tokyo. Weird name. I know it's from Big Hero 6. I have a hard time pronouncing just because, you know, my name's Kyle Palo and I have a hard time pronouncing everything. Now it's not much, but here is what is going on. It's all drained. Now usually around this time it does get drained, I think, as well. Maybe not usually because uh, Grizzly Peak is down for refurbishment, which uh, makes them able to drain this because I believe this is actually used for um, overfill, overspill from that attraction. And this is why they're getting kind of a jump start on Pacific Wharf. All this is getting rethemed to basically Tokyo and San Fran from Big Hero 6. Kind of cool to finally see that they're actually working on something that they announced last time we were here. It's very windy out today, guys. I'm gonna reiterate that. Reiterate that it is very windy, which might make it not crowded as well. We'll find out. Not sure if you guys can hear uh, the area music, but we've got obviously the music themed for the Lunar New Year. So it's a basically like you know Chinese music, Hong Kong Guan music. It's beautiful, beautiful time. So we got like two celebrations going on at once here. So eerie to see this. I mean, I'm used to kind of like seeing Cinderella's castle's moat river drained. 
but not this one. And for a good reason, a new theming area. Now it's probably gonna be like a food court. I don't really foresee them having an attraction back here. There's not much space. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I think it's just gonna be re-theming of the food. Comment down below if you guys are gonna miss Pacific Wharf. I'm okay with it leaving. I just don't have like a strong attachment to Pacific Wharf. But uh, yeah, we're here. So maybe possibly our last look at Pacific Wharf before it closes. We don't really know when exactly it's going to shut down, shut down, and begin all these construction, or this construction. Now this will open later today, but like I said, we have no idea when the closing date is going to be, and I do really feel like it's still gonna be like a food court, but re-themed to uh, San Fran and Tokyo from Big Hero 6. Holy cow, guys. Just got hit with a bombshell, a, um, you guys have no idea what's going on, but something kind of just happened with what I'm planning on doing. I'm gonna have an update video here coming here shortly, but I didn't expect to be dealing with this inside at Disneyland, and I'm not like trying to sell this up. Something big is happening and just got thrown on here at Disneyland regarding um, something I haven't told you guys about, but you, kinda, you guys might know. Um, we'll have a video on it coming soon because I don't really know what's gonna happen. I thought it was done and over with, but Something big just happened. Not as big though as heading on into Avengers Campus. So let's go check it out. We're Avengers today. We're Avengers, baby. Avengers, assemble. Arguably one of my favorite themed lands of all the Disney parks I've been to. Arc Reactor, baby. Welcome to Avengers Campus. And it's very nice to come here in the morning. Because look at this. It's so much more enjoyable you don't have herds and herds of people trying to get through. Can't wait to see Spider-Man do his show here. It's at 10 o'clock in about 40 minutes or so. We did uh, get a Web Slingers lightning lane and I've always wanted to do something up here. Inside Web Slingers, you can buy attachments to use inside the ride that makes your experience better. Now I found the attachments and uh, you have to get this one first. This one's gonna allow you to shoot three webs and uh, it's $34. Now here's kind of where Disney gets you in a way. You can't use these ones on uh, the ride at all. You have to use that one with that. It's like in a different like attachment that gives you another power, so that's an additional $25. These are the ones that they all have. We're gonna start with the base one, just because I don't really feel it's necessary to spend uh, that much money. I mean, 34 just to go on a, a ride. So we have this on fun mode, basically, when you're not inside Web Slingers. Okay, so this is what, $34 and 24, so basically... Like 67 after 67 tax? 67 after tax, um, if you wanna add a mod. The Little Spider-Man logo right here is going to be your um, Web Slinger settings. Ah. So that's going to give you your upgrade. Think of it like Bluetooth once you sit down. It kind of pairs up. Okay. Okay, that was fun and all, but I don't know. I have a hard time buying that. Just because, you know, I'm not here all the time. Maybe I was here all the time. I don't know. I'm trying to save money. <laughs> Here's the attraction if you guys have no idea what we're talking about. Web slingers which kind of does have a, a bit of a line so we are going to be able to skip a little bit which is super nice i think we're gonna get some breakfast before going on where are we going you know what it's called pim there we go we're going to pim's kitchen i'm gonna keep my eye out for the hulk because the hulk has been a recent addition here in avengers campus and it was announced at d23 but we left the week before the Hulk appeared. Here we go into uh, Pim's kitchen, baby. It's so eerie because no one's here. Till tomorrow. I think tomorrow is going to be a different story with the 100th anniversary. Which, you know, the 100th anniversary of Disney isn't even until October. It's funny that they're starting out so early. Leave it to Disney to celebrate early and celebrate after. I mean, 
Avengers Campus just simply amazes me. Now I wish it was way bigger. Imagine Avengers Campus over at Disney World. It's just so well done. I love it. One of my favorite themes land, themed lands in all, all parks. Especially right now, because we get it all to ourself. Warp. That leads to the quantum realm, by the way. Holy cow, Spider-Man roams now. What's up, Spidey? Not too much. Yeah, I just done patrol. You need anything? I'm good, I'm good okay, though. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Yo! Spider-Man! <laughs> Side note, turns out the Hulk, he used to come out over here. He did leave a lot of his belongings here, but I think he's over at Paris now, so the Hulk is no longer here. Big sad. He left in October. What the heck? Mobile ordering, always, always the wave. What are we on, uh, the Disney Wish? I mean, this sec technically is Ant-Man Technologies. Thank you so much for holding it. It smells really good. Like, really good. I'm gonna eat a tot right now. This is actually impossible. I decided to order something different. These tots, everybody, are on another level, and I really mean it. The seasoning and the crunch is so much better than Disney World. It's actually making my mouth salivate right now. So we've got here the... Um, Crispy potato bites and uh, French toast, or toast, um, frocata toast. And then we've got the impossible garden breakfast, the quantum garden breakfast. Basically, you have potato bites. Probably don't eat it like me, but you know, this is impossible meat. I don't want to eat it with a fork. I feel like it's impossible to eat it with a fork, so I'm just going to be like a carnivore. Oh, Jump out. I actually really like car um <laughs> I almost said carnivore meat. I love impossible meat now. Just to taste these tots again, totally worth it to eat here. Check out the cups too. We've got the 100 Years of Wonder merch design here. Well, not merch, but you know, the theming. Expect these for two years here. <laughs> Pim's Kitchen always seems to amaze me. That bacon, smoky flavor, hit the spot. But now, we've got a show to watch. Eyes by Spider-Man. Here. Like I'm using my made up name. Time for some field testing. Hey, could you record it for me? Tag me later. Okay. Yeah! Yeah, Spidey! Woo! Woo! Man. Oh, hey, Sharon. Shall we conduct an altitude test? Yeah, I guess I should do some work. Always good to have the data. On Woo! my way. Just need to find a clear path and something to swing from. Uh oh. Oh yeah, it's go time. Let's go, baby. Spider-Man, I'm getting unusual pre-flight readings. No. Testing postponed. No. Proceed to ground level. You can show off on the way down. Okay, I'll be right down. No. I told you it was windy out. Here we go. No way. They've completely modified the show. Spidey comes and high fives you. And he's out. There he goes. And we're gonna go on Web Slingers. Sweet! Awesome sauce. Welcome. Thank you. Awesome sauce. Hi there, and how long in? Welcome to the Worldwide Engineering Brigade. Thanks to funding from Tony Stark. Left unchecked. My calculations predict this will lead to the devastation of the entire Avengers campus. That's not good. Here we go, baby. Let's go uh, beat these spider bots. My arms are gonna feel like jello after this. Alright, Case. Let's get it. Get it! Woo! Ah! Come on, baby! Woo! We did 
did it, everybody. So your idea. We did it. Stark! Tony Stark. Now everyone will know we're friends. Um. Hey, you made it. You know, I was going to send a Quinjet for you, but then I didn't. We love Tony Stark. Comment down your favorite Avenger. I believe Tony's mine. He used to be Cap, but it's Tony now. We love Iron Man. Have fun. Uh -huh. yeah. Tony, hey, you're looking a little too cozy up here in my spotlight. Thank you. All right, thanks. Too late. Thank you. I know I'm emotional too. I'm sorry. See you. Bye. So long. Wakanda forever, baby. Of course, our next ride has to be Guardians of the Galaxy. I am. I have to say it every time. I like this more than Tower of Terror. So sorry, everybody. A little cold. It's okay. It's better than being hot, right? <laughs> yeah, right? Thanks, guys. Genie Plus today has actually uh, done us wonders. The crowds are coming. Also, guys, if you look, one of these is Figment. There he is. That is Figment. Here at Disney's California Adventure. Crazy. And uh, let's you this guy. Hearing your incessant blathering on a constant loop was big motivation for me to escape. I go, ouch! Ow! What was, that was not part of the plan. Why? <laughs> of course I escaped. For those of you who have not been paying attention, the name's Rocket, one of the Guardians of the Galaxy. When Rocket unplugs you and starts <laughs> Oh my god! Woo! Yeah! Gamora! Bye! Monsters after dark! I don't know why I said that, but look at this. We have scaffolding up here. Would you look at this? I think they're redoing the whole exterior here on Hollywood Boulevard. I'm telling you, I love. Love, 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 love seeing construction updates or just construction within Disney parks because it's getting better and better. And that's what we need. How windy it is. Really worried about tomorrow, guys, or today when you guys see this because that means we won't be able to see the new fireworks show. Might have to go and see World of Color, but I don't know if they delay World of Color either if it's windy out. Stumbled upon a huge merch shop here in California Adventure. This is proof that Avengers Campus needs to be bigger because they're selling this all the merch inside like a huge warehouse. I don't know what used to be here. This was actually here last time. I just never covered it. But there's so much merch in here. We need an expansion for Avengers Campus. We've got a long day ahead though. Got to get some Starbucks. This is one vlog of two that I'm filming today. I always like to film twice because we're not here that often. And I like to have more than one video each day for you guys and for the channel. It's way, it's way more fun that way. Have to. Thank you. Cheers to our lattes. Real quick, we're gonna head on over to Disneyland. The time is 12 o'clock. I could have sworn they changed park hopping to 11 here now so we're gonna try to get in and confirm that let's see and also on your screen right now Henry just showed us the very first 100th name tag that we saw I mean it's the hundredth special ones it's still one o'clock the fourth of February is when it changes to eleven o'clock darn it but hey at least we got to see uh, the new 100th name tags that the cast members are gonna be repping and we're back that is gonna be it for your guys' daily dose. We're headed on inside Disneyland tomorrow for the 100th anniversary special. That's gonna to be tomorrow's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Gonna have a lot of Disneyland content here. 
Come out of the channel soon. I'll see you guys tomorrow. That was it for your daily dose. Peace out.